Hello, everyone. As Michelle said, my name is D.K. Herner, and I am 58 years old. And about a year ago, I was diagnosed with DCIS, stage zero breast cancer, which was diagnosed during my routine mammogram. Now, I have had routine mammograms since I was 27 years old. And I will tell you that maybe it was the one last year that's the one that saved my life. And I have all of this. I owe all of this. And I thank Planned Parenthood because that's what changed my life. That's why I had annual mammograms since I was 27 years old. And that's why I stand here today in support of the Planned Parenthood Action Fund. And you all stand here with me, don't you? Yes, you do. See, back when I was 27 years old, we didn't know very much about reproductive health. We didn't know how to find a doctor. We didn't know how to make an appointment. And you can trust me that we did not have those kinds of conversations with our mothers. But because I was here at the University of Missouri and, and was very fortunate to know a number of enlightened women, I did know about Planned Parenthood health clinics. And so when I needed my annual exam, I called the Planned Parenthood clinic in Jefferson City, Missouri and made my appointment to have my annual pap smear. And it was during that routine examination that the doctor found lumps in my breasts and said, you need to have those biopsied so we can tell if they're cancerous. Now I will tell you that it was the staff of the Planned Parenthood clinics who helped me not navigate a very complex medical system, one that's only even more complex today. And I was lucky because those biopsies were negative and so my lumps were benign. But during the period when I was waiting for that test to come back, and it took quite a while back in the 70s, um, I did one more thing. I thought. I thought a lot. And I thought, well, you know, if this test come back positive and I have to have a mastectomy, you know, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to live without my breasts, but I'm not going to be able to live without my lungs. So you see, I was a smoker and I loved smoking. I smoked quite a bit and I'd started, you know, like right after the, when I was a freshman in college. But I'll tell you one thing I did that day, within the week, after they did the biopsy on me, and I'm not a litterer normally, but I was out driving my car and I pulled over to the side of the road. I rolled my window down. I threw that pack of cigarettes out that window and I have never picked one up again. You see, it was the positive experience that I had with Planned Parenthood that put me on the road to a healthier lifestyle. And for that, I am very grateful. And because of that, because of that, I am absolutely incensed by what Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan have to say and the stance they're taking with Planned Parenthood. You all know, and as Michelle said, Mitt Romney has said he wants to get rid of Planned Parenthood. Let me ask you this question. If we get rid of Planned Parenthood, who else is gonna provide access to cervical cancer screenings and to breast cancer screenings? And who is gonna do the national program of family planning in this nation? You know, Planned Parenthood does that for all of us. And I am pretty sure that there is not a person that's standing in this parking lot who doesn't believe that every woman has the right to have access to birth control. Who in their right mind would cut off 
access to birth control from the very women who need it the most, Mitt and Paul. Now I will tell you, over the years I have been fortunate because I have had good jobs and my jobs provided health care and health insurance. And because of that, I was able to have access to some of the very best treatment that is available in this country. And I'm lucky. But you know, there are many women who aren't so lucky. There are women who don't have jobs. There are women who are poor. And where do they go to have their pelvic and breast exams? Should they be denied access to health care simply because they can't afford it? No. no! I don't think so, and you don't think so. And that's why I am standing here today behind Planned Parenthood's health centers and why I'm shocked by what Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan have to say and why I support the Planned Parenthood Action Fund in this election cycle. I know that Planned Parenthood will always be there for women who are in need. And I know that I will always be there for Planned Parenthood. And thank you very much. And our next speaker is a woman who's done an incredible bunch of work for us, Vicki Reback Wilson.